Ladies and gentlemen, today we will be talking with the founder and former president of the Cameroonian Association in Latin America, based in Brazil, a sports agent, and today relocated to the United States of America as a financial advisor at the K&G Services. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Professor Kenneth Ojo, Chief Executive Officer at the K&G Services based in Maryland, United States of America. Once again, I want to thank you very much, Professor Ojong, for coming at the Quest Studios. Thank so you. So we want to know, who is Professor Kenneth Ojong? Professor Kenneth Ojong is a humble Cameroonian who traveled to Latin America in the early 90s. And he studied at University de San Paulo, became a professor, a business owner, and the founder of Cameroon Association in Latin America and the former president. Today he resides in the United States of America and he is the owner of K&G Services. Now, when you talk about owner of something in America, we understand that K&G Services is a kind of financial in institution. So can you give us a brief detail? What is it all about, K&G Services? Yeah, K&G Services, when I created K&G Services as a company, is because I realized the need of our community, which was something lacking, which is life insurance and financial services. You know, so that gave me that opportunity as an, an educator and somebody who is in the social science field and sociology, I saw the lack of financial advice and financial information in our community. So I decided to create k &G services so to have the opportunity to go around and educate our population about the importance of life insurance, which is a hidden investment from the local or the minority community as a whole. Why life insurance? What is the importance? Well, life insurance, what people don't know, is a hidden investment from the minority. If you look, when you live in the United States, life insurance is the only business, you know, that does not have any restriction. Life insurance is free from probate. Life insurance is free from IRS. Life insurance is as a savings account. Wow. You know, so these are the hidden things that people don't know about life insurance. The only thing life insurance is about the death benefit. Mm -hmm. So that is why I'm using this opportunity to educate the population about the importance of life insurance. That is very nice. What are the relevant issues that our communities do neglect about life insurance? Well, you know, most often when you talk about life insurance, people think life insurance is just about the death benefit. Mm -hmm. Life insurance is not only about the death benefit. Life insurance, as I would tell our people, it's an investment. And when you have a good life insurance, depending on how it was structured, mm -hmm. you know, it can have the living benefit, which means when you suffer from chronic, critical or terminal illness, you will be paid. That is the importance mm -hmm. of life insurance. If you know how to use your life insurance, depending on who set it up properly, mm -hmm. you will use it as a savings account, which means it's like a retirement income. If you set your life insurance properly, you can use that life insurance as a mortgage protection. At the same token, we use life insurance as funding for college education. So I want to remove this myth from our community that when we talk of life insurance, we always think about the death benefit. When I go around and advise people to talk about life insurance, you know, unfortunately, sometimes people will say, oh, I don't want to die and my wife use the money. <laughs> you know, who, how do you know that you're going to die first mm -hmm. and your wife is going to use that money? So these are the things that, these are the unforeseen things that I am trying to educate our population to understand the benefits of life insurance. If you live in the United States, there is nothing that you do which is not linked on insurance. Take for example, car insurance, everybody have it. Mm -hmm. If you buy a new cell phone, which is expensive, they tell you to buy a warranty. What's a warranty? It's insurance. If you 
buy a house, they say homeowner's insurance. If you rent a house, they say lease insurance. So if you look around, the foundation of American economy, it's on life. Is on insurance, mm -hmm. so we should not neglect our population, our community should not neglect the importance of life insurance. Can you give us a brief detail? What is it all about? Generational wealth, because we as Africans in this uh, United States of America, we are worried about the future of our children, our children's children. We want to know how to build a very sound and solid generational wealth system. Yeah, insurance is one of the best tools to build generational wealth in this country. Reason because with insurance you have advantages. It has a platform of the death benefit. Mm -hmm. When you're no longer here, your family will have that money. Mm -hmm. And then the purpose of insurance also, the IUL, the Index Universal Life Insurance, you can use it as a savings account, you know, and the interest rate is far better than the interest that you get in the bank. And with the living benefit, which means the chronic, critical, and terminal illness benefit, you know, if you are sick, you guarantee that there's some money, you know, so the little savings that you have, you're not going to consume that savings, that savings will stay for your children. So these are the importance of life insurance that most people don't know. Mm -hmm. So when you have that money or when you have this platform of an IUL life insurance, which is the Index Universal Life Insurance, your family is guaranteed. Let me give you a simple example. Let me say your death benefit is 500000 and you are paying $100 a month. Mm -hmm. We don't pray that we should die, but one thing is certain in this society of today. We are all going to die. And if you die, you leave your family with $500,000. That is generational wealth that you're leaving behind. That money will help your family in a very long way. The Jewish community have been doing this, or the Caucasian community in general have been doing this. But unfortunately, the minority community keep on procrastinating. Mm. I will, I will, I will. I will does not help. You know, we have to engage ourselves in building this type of investment that will go from generation to generation. That's why I call it building generational wealth. Did you guys hear that? There is uh, a question that is recurring in my mind. You know, here it goes. What do you advise your community to invest in? 401k, life insurance and stock market. Which one would you advise an African to invest in? Well, first of all, I must have to emphasize this. There is no bad investment. There is no wrong financial investment. But it all depends on the type of investment and the financial capability. So for me, as a financial advisor and to my community, I will first ask everybody to have a life insurance investment. Reason because life insurance is not only about the death benefit. Life insurance is about the savings. Life insurance is about the living benefit, which means you don't need to die before using it. If you have your money in the stock market of 401k, when the stock is down, your money goes down together with the stock. But if you have your money invested in, in life insurance, it has no risk. It is not a risky investment. All the millionaires in the United States and the world as a whole, they all have their money in life insurance, but they won't tell you. Mm -hmm. So life insurance is for everybody and is the most important investment in our generation. But if you have or if you're a risk taker, you can put your money in the 401k or in the stock market. But if you want something which is guaranteed that you know your money is there and your family will profit from that money, and it's some money that doesn't have any string tied on. It's free from probate, as I said earlier. It's free from judgment, and it's free from IRS. That is why the rich people will never tell you about the importance of life insurance. You know, most people think about death benefit. Mm -hmm. That's why I would advise our community, if you're listening to me, get it anywhere, and I challenge any financial advisor who will tell you that life insurance is not the best investment that we have on this planet Earth. Mostly, 
the IUL, the Index Universal Life Insurance, is a three in one. I guarantee that you can read it everywhere, anywhere, and you can quote me anywhere. So, advise our community to invest on life insurance. Once again, Prof, we are living a very difficult time in the United States of America and the whole world, right? So, I want us to, you know, tell us how does the coronavirus affect the financial institution today in America as compared to China and the rest of the world? How does coronavirus affect your business? Yeah, the coronavirus is an awareness and is a call of alert and attention to our community. You know, I had a few clients some months ago, I told them, please, switch from money from from 401k to life insurance investment and they neglected me but go to the stock market today the stock market is almost crumbling i have friends who've lost thirty thousand dollars forty thousand dollars but if this money was in an index universal life insurance mm -hmm. you would not lose your money why because this is a guaranteed investment it's not a risky investment with this coronavirus, I've got people calling me and asking, what do I do with my money? Wow. Now, it's already too late, you know, for you to switch your money from the stock market to the life insurance. But what you can do is to reawake yourself and understand the importance of investing your money in an index universal life insurance that you know that money is guaranteed and the growth is, you know, is a geometrical growth mm -hmm. you know you don't gain five thirty percent in the blow but you know your money is there and your money is constantly growing because it is indexed and indexing you don't go below zero but with the stock market you can go below fifty percent and when you have a hundred thousand that hundred thousand fifty percent minus it means you've lost fifty thousand wow. but with an index you have you are guaranteed your money stays there the death benefit is still guaranteed the savings part of it is still guaranteed mm -hmm. the chronic critical and terminal illness is still guaranteed mm -hmm. i don't want my population to have the coronavirus but if you have the coronavirus today and you have an index universal life insurance with the living benefit you are already making some money but with the stock market you don't have any other benefit so what is the difference between the stock market and the index universal life insurance is that the stock market have only one guarantee growth and nothing else but with an index universal life insurance you have three things that you know are guaranteed you have the death benefit which you're guaranteed mm -hmm. you have the living benefit which means the chronic critical and terminal illness that if you have one of those things you will be paid for and you have the savings account that your money that you put there is growing you know and you can use this same uh, insurance as a platform for college uh, funding you can use the same insurance as a platform for mortgage protection you can use the same insurance as a platform for building generational wealth so this is the awareness that i'm trying to bring into a population for them to understand that when you go about investing you must know what you're investing for and how you are investing that is why i say i'm not against any other investment or type of investment but you must know the type of investment that you are putting your money in ladies and gentlemen dear viewers today we have been talking with professor kenneth ojong he is the CEO of K&G Services based in Maryland, United States of America. It was a wonderful pleasure, an enlightening moment to tell us where to put our money, how to make more money. We are living in difficult times. You have to be wise and you want to contact Professor Kenneth Ojong anytime. Can you please give us the phone number and the website again? Uh, you can get in touch with K&G Services on 240 899-0339 and the website is okaconsultant.net Thank you very much dear viewers see you next time
It was a great pleasure. Peace. It's like